Welcome guys, this is Adan from the Break Room Blitz. Uh, this is our new segment for the Toy Box Unboxing. And today I have my pre-order that just uh, got sent to me of the Winter Soldier from uh, Marvel's Captain America 3 Civil War. And this is uh, Bucky Barnes, Winter Soldier. So right back here we got uh, uh, the they made a Iron Man one from uh, the same series as well as a Captain America and then uh, right in there, they kind of give you a background of uh, the Winter Soldier. And we're just going to get right into it. Um, the reason I decided to go with the pre-order, because, uh, you know, I, I wasn't too sure that I was going to be able to get one of these. So I was like, well, I could wait. And, uh, you know, as far as these action figures are concerned, um, I mean, I'm pretty amateur when it comes to collecting these. You know, I'm... I consider myself a noob. I, I mean, I have a couple of them, but uh, just in up until like these last couple of years that I just started collecting them. Um, and for me, you know, like collecting some of these, I try to get them. I know that they can get kind of pricey, some of the more rare ones, um, like the Hawkeye or Loki. Um, so, I mean, I'm not willing to spend like that much more of the retail value. These things usually uh, are for $24.99, and uh, that's kind of where I want to keep it. If I could keep uh, along that same price range, I have paid a little bit more in the past, but uh, yeah, I need to complete the set, so what are you going to do? Um, so right out of the box, we got uh, some of these tabs to help you uh, put this base together, and uh, this diamond select. Let's uh, open this up real quick. I'll just rip it right open. Um, I like to display them. I'm not that much of a, you know, collector, um, or uh, you know, I don't do any like capture or anything. But I do like to display them. I think it's pretty fun. This is just some of the other Marvel products that uh, they have here. Cool, cool. And uh, yeah, these little tidbits uh, I believe are for the base from what I've seen. Alright, so uh, let's uh, open this part up. It comes with this uh, nice background. I kind of like that. You know, it's like, uh, helps you really like put together the entire set. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, yeah, I mean, just looks like really modern. And then uh, some tabs here at the bottom to help you snap them all into place. Pretty cool. All right, we'll just set that right there. And then uh, we've got the Winter Soldier. And right over here we can see that he comes with some interchangeable hands and his uh, machine gun right there. So let's undo this. We'll just set this box up right over here. And let's take a look at him real quick. All right, so I mean, um, First thing I gotta notice, like real quick, is that uh, yeah, I d definitely do like the uh, color and uh, the shading that they did to him. Um, it's really nice. You can uh, see all the little detail in his clothing. Um, uh, the face, I mean, um, I don't know. Uh, the the face, I guess it's okay. It, it someone look somewhat looks like uh, the actual actor Sebastian. I mean, we had got a picture of him like right over there. So I mean, you know face comparison um, yeah I mean he's kinda got that beard grizzly look right there probably closer to that right there if anything uh, but I mean it's not one of those higher-end figures that you're gonna see with uh, hot toys or anything this is a uh, something with uh, really good detail that uh, it's not gonna you know car cost you a arm and a leg um, but uh, yeah and you know what um, now, I really wish that this arm right here would be a little bit bigger. It looks kind of small for me. Um, it's about the same size as this one. Um, but I do like the all the detail that they put into this arm. It's pretty cool. Um, it's very silver. The The paintwork is really well done, too. And uh, the, the star. Now, the star, I would have hoped... Uh, oh, we got a little smudge right there as well. Oh, well. But uh, the star, I wish it was a little bit more red, but um, that's okay. It's just me nitpicking. Um, uh, overall, pretty cool figure. Uh, the boots and everything, his jacket, it uh, really looks like 
like the Winter Soldier from the movie. Um, and uh, he could go on this stand. Let's uh, have him chill out right there while we open up the rest of this here. So we got his gun as well. He comes with a gun and uh, two interchangeable hands. Which uh, looks like he's already in position with uh, him to hold this gun anyway right out of the packaging, which is a lot more convenient um, than uh, these other two hands. We'll look at those in a second. Oop, there it goes. Alright, so we got this gun. And, you know, I gotta say, this thing's pretty huge. I mean, yeah, that's... It's actually really awesome. So I think he holds it with this arm. Um, yeah, I'm not too sure. You know what? Like his hand is really open with this. Let me see. Maybe it's this one. Yeah, it looks like it would be his other arm. All right. Well, we got his right arm to hold the gun and his left arm. That's uh, the metal one that could support it, I guess. Um, Kind of actually hard to put his finger on the trigger. Yeah, it's actually really hard. He has like no grip. Okay. And. Well, let's see. Let's take a look at his arm real quick. Kind of make him put it together, I guess. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. That's actually going to be pretty hard to actually make him hold it. Um, so, let's see. If we position it in that way... Well, here, I want to show you guys up close. So, here's his hand, here's the gun, and his hand is just so weak. And it, it's just not sized up for this, this gun here. The trigger seems to be actually getting in the way more than, than anything. Um, okay, there we go. So you gotta put his finger on the trigger first, and then I guess he'll hold it. And there it goes, falling off. Like I said, it's actually pretty weak. Um, you know what? Let's give it a try with his other hand. The, the, hopefully this metal hand has a lot more grip to it. Um, okay, there we go. But, uh, yeah, it, it, you know, it's just not doing it. It doesn't do it. Wow. Well, that's really annoying. This is This is pretty messed up. I don't know. I'm gonna mess around with that a little bit more, but uh, let's let, let him cradle it like a baby for now uh, while we take a look at these other two hands. So here, go go stand in the corner, dude. <laughs> mess with you later. Um, so it came with two other hands, and um, I don't think those hands are gonna help us for this reason. But let, let's take a look at it real quick. I think these are mostly just fists. So yeah, these are actually just fists. And uh, they they do, uh, I guess you can pose them, you can swivel them. They have a little notch right there. And that's his uh, regular hand there. And we got his other hand, his metal arm hand right over here. And uh, yeah, I mean, uh, it's pretty much the same, um, except of course we got Silver is uh, opposed to the skin tone. Um, that's that's basically it. Um, you know, if I had to review this, um, th the face is okay. I don't have much gripes there. Um, and uh, the attention to the detail that they put into the suit was okay, too. Um, but you know what? Th those hands are just... Uh, I can tell I'm going to get really frustrated with those real quick. Let's take a look at that one more time. Let's see here. So it's just loose, like super loose. Here's the gun. 
it sh there's absolutely no grip. His fingers look like they're overlapping too, like he's doing like one of these or something. You know? So, <laughs> and then it's just like w way too big of a grip that they put. Oh man. Anyway, that's just gonna drive me nuts. I think as soon as I put him into pose with whatever it is that he's just going to be doing, probably just chilling there holding the gun, that's pretty much it. I'm never really going to mess around with it because <laughs> this is just, yeah, this needs to go back to the drawing board or something. I wonder if anybody else over there has anything to say. If you bought one of these and you don't have any problems with the gun, let me know because uh, I would like to know, like, I mean, like, he he's not holding on to the gun like I just sh shook him a little bit but I mean you know he's he's got no strength in holding this thing and there you have it that's pretty much all the bases uh, connected together and you know they this looks really nice and I mean you could really put uh, winter soldiers on either side this is really the centerpiece is Captain America and Iron Man um, but uh, this overall looks pretty awesome. I'm really happy with this. Um, out of the three of them, I got to say, I got to give it to Iron Man. They really put like really good paint work in it. Um, had some issues with uh, the Winter Soldier in his hands holding that machine gun. And then Captain America with his hands and holding the shield. Um, that, that was a little finicky, but uh, once you got it in place, it's okay. And so long as his arm is curved. But Iron Man is just pretty much winning the war, basically, on this one. Um, really enjoyed this. All right, well, that's going to do it for me. This is Adan with uh, Break Room Blitz Toy Box Unboxing. Check out our other videos. Thanks.